you there. All right, we're recording. All right, uh, hello, players and coaches. This is Doc Scholl, baseball honest instructor. Here with my boy John, 19, college player. Uh, we've been working for many years now. Uh, great hitter, great pitcher, currently pitching at Westchester Community College, ranked, right, John? Mm -hmm. Yep. And so with this whole uh, COVID going on, we are launching and figuring out how we could do some of the uh, video analysis and do some live um, mechanical stuff. Uh, we're going to try a little bit of both. What's really cool that you've never seen before is we are actually going to look at some of his footage and we're going to talk about it through um, an app that I use and he'll be able to see what he does well and what he needs to work on. And then we're going to try to go live in his backyard and try to work on the mechanics that we're talking about. All right, so let me see if I could share my screen. Okay, John, tell me when you could see my screen. I can see it. Okay. So what's cool about this program here is we got my boy John here on the left. And what John did was John sent me some video footage right from his backyard. Okay, and this is what my goal is, is to be able to do some video footage right from a kid's backyard, just makes it easier. Uh, then what I did is I, of course, as you know, have been collecting data uh, about MLB hitters for approximately 15 years now. So I have a database of players that shows exactly the course, the comparison with those types of players. Um, so John, when I look at your video first, okay, let me look at first. It's actually very common. If you look at this part here, let me start with this first. Just the bat part. It's very common now how people keep the bat down. See how your bat's down? Yeah. Like in a more of a flat position. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of stay a little flat for too long. See how it never gets back up into that power position? Yeah. So a lot of players really do what you do. Let's see if Rendona has it in the footage. No, he, he stays the whole way straight. Okay. What you want to do is – a lot of, and you watch, when you watch a lot of MLB players, they're going to start, see, that's a good position there, right? Mm -hmm. You see how you drop it down? Yeah. So you want to, you could do that, and I'm telling you, wait till you watch a lot of MLB players. A lot of MLB players will have the bat come down, and then it comes back up into the power position. So that's definitely going to be something I want you to try to work on when we go outside. All right. So, you, either way, either you're going to have it in the proper power position, as we know already, or you could get your rhythm, start with it flat, and then just make sure you get it back up to that power. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's number one. Let me see if I can go back. I don't have as much control with this program as I do with – oh, there we go. Now I got it. Okay. So one of the things I always measure is I want to see – how your entire body is aligned mm -hmm. at the load position. So actually right there is not so bad. You kind of got the bat up a little bit, right? So that's, mm -hmm. that's a good sign. So let's measure your bat first. Let me see if I get Rondon back to his load. I'm gonna show you the big comparison I was talking about. So if you look at your load, now when you look at the bats themselves, it looks as though they're in this kind of different positioning when you compare yours and his, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't look like it's, a, it's like, it looks like crazily like different. Yeah. I'm bringing it up on purpose, right? So do you remember we talked about where should the bat be? Um, where should the bat be aligned to at that low position? Do you remember? No, not really. Okay. No, it's good. Good. So you really want, right? Your bat's going back here. Mm -hmm. His bat is going back here so yours is maybe just a little bit more mm -hmm. but the truth is yours is okay okay you want to have that bottom of the barrel going towards the catcher yeah okay. right so anywhere from his foot to his head okay with my research i've noticed that people cock that bat back right and you would expect and know 
that you're kind of going more a little bit like Bryce Harper. Okay. Right. So that allows you to generate more power, right. By cocking it more. However, sometimes it makes it a little bit harder to be on time. Mm -hmm. And so whenever I talk to my college players and my high school players, we got to find a balance like, oh, for T, it's going to be easy. You could do as much as you want. Yeah. But the issue is how far can you do it? I had a kid from uh, Texas who I worked with, and he was doing the same thing, and he kept saying to me, Doc, why am I late? Why am I late? Why am I late? And I said, here's your reason. Just get a little bit less. And we've talked about this before. Javier Baez had the same problem. Javier Baez would cock so much that he got into trouble. So that is one other area. But, like, this is what's really interesting. So remember the bat angles and the way it looks. Now this is what I find fascinating. Okay. John knows how much I love my video analysis. So you're at 88 degrees. Yeah. Okay. So let's go check Rendon. Eighty-six. Your brain would probably think that it was completely different. Yeah. Right. You would think that it would your degrees would be so far off, but it's not. So for me, watching all these videos, if you're in that range of like eighty-eight to ninety-one, it's like the perfect range, like most mm -hmm. players do. Guys like Harper will go a higher, or actually a lesser degree. Right. Mm -hmm. If you go to less of an angle, right, you're cocking it even more. But what I find fascinating is like almost every like 99 percent of all major league hitters are in that range. So the good news is, which are positive things, is you're good. Yeah. That aspect is good. You know, the issue is how much we're we going to like rotate those hands around. All right. So now we go to the second component that I always talk about. And we're going to do your body angle. And John and I were kind of talking about this a little bit yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember what I said the average was? 72? 68 to 72. Okay. Through all my research. So when you look at this, how cool is that? Yeah. So you're both in that. And that's why I picked Rendon. When I went through my database of all the players I had, I noticed that your two components were the most like Rendon, okay? Mm -hmm. So your body is in a good position. And we talk a lot about this because this is gonna allow you to be on the proper swing plane. We've discussed that a lot, yeah. right? You're not too forward. So that is part one. So if we're gonna discuss the first thing we're gonna work on is get a good feel for how much we wanna cock back towards the catcher. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to lie to you. The truth is that it's going to be almost impossible for us to really know what your capacity and level could be because we're not going live pitching. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. even if I just threw BP at 40 miles an hour, we're really not going to know for sure. But if I start throwing it like 70 to 80 and then see how much you could keep up. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to get Phil to help us. <laughs> <laughs> if you get Phil. All right. So that's part one of it let me erase so now i'm gonna move you forward rendon moves much faster okay and let's look at rendon we may go back a little bit on yours and the only difference here is that rendon is hitting a major inside pitch yeah i could explain why how i know that but uh as of right now when you look at this too and this is another reason why I picked Rendon. I think you guys are going to be pretty close on contact. And again, this is all my own research. You're at 74. I'm really curious to see what he's going to be at. I'm going to be honest. I didn't test to see at contact what his measurement was exactly. Ah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Right? So, a, a, a typical person, like I wouldn't share this with like an eight-year-old, but mm -hmm. when you really think about this, and this is where my research comes in, okay, and we had this discussion a little bit before, 
you're at 74 at contact mm -hmm. and he's at 70. And major league average again is 68 to 70. Now I'm gonna change the color on purpose to show you. Okay. So that's 70, right? And by creating that four difference in degrees, do you remember what I said is gonna make a difference? Launch angle. There you go. My man, <laughs> someone's paying attention, yes. right? Launch angle. So again, this is, and again, what, when, why that's so important is that's gonna allow you to stay on the proper swing plane or launch angle to get it. Where if you come too forward and up, you're gonna hit more line drives or more uh, ground balls, okay? And that to me is like such an easy fix. And you know, I, as people know, I've been working with John for years. We've gone back and forth and worked on that. And that's the difference when we're live, I could just say to you, hey, listen, <laughs> you're not staying back enough and you get it. But it's kind of cool now to see the difference, yeah. right? Really cool. All right, so I'm just gonna clear that for a second. I'm gonna move you forward just a little bit more. Cause I thought this was interesting. And this is purely about just stabilization, okay? So this would be the second part. And uh, I told John earlier that he reminds me of Altuve. And there's a bunch of players, even Miguel Cabrera does a little bit, who does like the scissor approach to hitting. And people are saying, what's the scissor approach? Is you kind of scissor your legs to create the torque so that when you turn, you get some more power, okay? Now here is the challenge with that approach, John, right? Mm -hmm. When you do that, it's much harder for you to keep your hands extending and through the zone. Yeah. When you just think about it, and you've had this problem since day one since I met you, yeah. is you're gonna rotate too much. And we've talked a lot about, we wanna have the linear to rotation though. So I almost feel as though, uh, and we've talked about this, is uh, you're, and this again, you haven't swung a bat in how long? Eight months. <laughs> yeah. So this is very typical. This is yeah. what I say, you know, because we kind of, we handled this before. Mm -hmm. We stopped you from scissoring so much, right? Mm -hmm. And what's really cool is you could actually see, look at the difference and the stability that Rendon has on his lower half and what you have. So he's going to be able to stay on the proper plane, get mm -hmm. proper extension and be able to really drive the ball where you're more likely going to leave the zone a little bit too early. Mm -hmm. And we've had that. And I remember John, I remember when he was playing in high school, you say how many foul balls you hit like 300 and 450 feet, but they were foul or 370. And this is one of the reasons why. And missing the outside pitch. And missing the outside pitch. Yeah. So you listen, I love working with college kids. Okay. So I, I think if we had two things to try to go work on mm -hmm. is, you know, making sure we're in that power, either start flat and then go to the power. And then as we go on the tee a little bit right now, let's see if we could work on not scissoring as much. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're done with part one. Any questions you have? No. Nope. At all. Okay, good. Well, do you, did you find it helpful to see it? Yeah. Kind of cool, right? Yeah, it is. Like we've never done this before. We never had time to do this, mm -hmm. you know? And I would do this often with my high school players when I coached at Scarsdale with the team. We would sit – player by player and go over all this. So I think it's a cool part. We talked yesterday, John and I, how there's the visual, the, the auditory and the kinesthetic part. And this here is bringing the visual part that we usually don't get to see. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. I'm gonna stop recording.